Hello everyone, Wanda the Foiling Rock Lady here, and today I'm going to do a little St. Patty's Day uh, shamrocks, and the word lucky, it's a rough draft, I, um, I obviously I traced around a different picture here, just to make it uh, easier for me to see, and then I shrunk it down and fit it on my rock. I traced it and outlined it. I outlined it with Pigma by Sakura, and this is a black um, pen. It comes in a three pack or a six pack, and there's the sizes are Pigma BB, Pigma FB, and Pigma MB. I don't know what the BBs stand for. I think the B is brush, but the first one maybe. Uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's see, oh, big brush, we'll call that. Fine brush, little bitty guy. And medium brush. I think that's probably how it goes. Anyways, these are really great. Um, they do really good on the rock and they don't bleed or smear uh, when I'm using them. You do need to seal them with either a UV resin, a spray or resin. Um, stay away from the brush-ons just directly on top of this because I'm not sure how it works. The gold, I'm using Pen Touch, came in a three pack with gold, copper, and silver. And it's a super fine pen. It's amazing. Anyway, so I'm just gonna make the whole word uh, lucky in gold oops and sorry I pushed it too much they did say not to pump it that is my mistake not the pen it's not like a um, Posca where you you know you have to keep pumping it this one just takes barely any pump action so before it goes all over the rock hopefully I can grab it got lucky it didn't um spill all in another place, eh? Well, you guys have got to witness a lot of my bloopers lately. I'm just using the paint that was there. Okay. Hopefully it's uh, not puddled in there anymore. We'll, we shall see. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm just going to do the whole word uh, lucky with this gold, this beautiful gold. Very metallic. It is one of those stinky pens, so if you um, have issues with uh, odors, you know, smells and such, you might wanna stay away from these pens. Um, I can handle it for a bit, and it's so, so metallic that I can handle it. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to fill in this word completely with the gold. And see how gorgeous that is. It's a beautiful gold. I'm going to use some foils today on the shamrocks. And I'm going with patterns. And I haven't picked them all out, but I have some ideas. And I want to use green plaid. Yes, for sure. And a floral, so probably maybe, but I don't want them to be too too much the same colors of green. So maybe this one, or heck, maybe a yellow with green in it. Don't know yet. And then um, maybe either a green yellow snake skin or the green part of the crackle. Maybe I could even, because it's not all green, but we could work like on this one here with the green, yellow, blue. See, wouldn't that be pretty? Woohoo, we're gonna get fancy. That, or we can paint one green, color it green. And I love this idea too. Um, then, see, I'll show you here. Like, look how awesome that would be over green. 
Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Or I could just, you know, follow along, do like a gold sparkle animal print and then a green. And a green. That way it's not overwhelming green. Do we like that idea? We could do one in plaid. Yes, we like that idea, don't we? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to rethink the foils here. This one would be nice for one of them. You know, one of these. Uh, this animal print would be good. It would go good with green or this one. So anyways, I'm just going to take you along with my indecisive foiling and um, see what we come up with. And hopefully you'll be inspired and um, come up with some really amazing shamrocks yourself. And maybe you could share them with me over on Facebook. You can post them on our page. It's, um, sorry about that. My house phone was ringing. It's, um, creative rock art and foiling techniques on Facebook. So visit us over there and show us what you've done. Post your finished rocks from any of the tutorials or just come say hi. We'd love to see you and share, uh, tips and tricks for rock art with you. We've got lots of mixed media uh, tutorials over there in our um, folders. I think it's under, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, if you need help finding anything, you can just hit up one of the admins and we can show you the way around the page. With that said, I am going to pick out some foils and I'll be back here in just a minute to show you what I've landed on. Okay, so I've picked out my foils and I've decided that I'm going to paint this last clover green. It's kind of a made color because I didn't have the right color green that I wanted. So I chose Apple Barrel Marsh Green and Deco Art Crafters Acrylic in Grasshopper Green. And a drop of each, just very little drop. See, it's just, just covering the bottom of the dish there. Just enough. Hopefully it'll be enough. We shall see. If not, I'll make a little more. Anyways, I'm just going to paint this guy so it can dry while we're working on the others. And um, I'm going to add the holographic foil on top of this um, to give it a beautiful holographic floral look. And I'll show you why I love this uh, foil. It's got, I think it looks like a shamrock in it, so... I don't know if you can see this on my hand, but where'd it go? Oh, my finger's on it. <laughs> can you see it right there right under my thumb? See the shamrock? Or what appears to be a shamrock to me. Anyways, I think it's going to be quite beautiful over green. So that's my idea there. And then the plaid is going to go here. Uh, leopard or cheetah will go here. And then the green rose will go here. And I think it'll work out. So that's my plan. I'm going to go ahead and paint this green and let it dry. And I'll be back with you to start the foiling. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm back. And this is going to be a pretty simple execution of foils tonight. Um... I'm using SXC Nail Art Foil Glue. I'm going to pour some of that into my dish here. And that makes it a whole lot easier to control your glue if you use it from a dish. I like, uh, it's a paint palette. You get six of these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree here. Um, I think I saw some on Amazon, like they have a, um, like a little tab part right here where you can hold it like this. Anyways, I think it was like 30 for $10 or something, which is still a pretty good deal. You can wipe them out with acetone and reuse them or you, they're disposable. You can toss them in. It's better to reuse anything you can. Obviously it's plastic, way better to reuse it. So I'm going to start here on this green one that I painted. It's nice and dry. I'm going to apply the holographic foil on top of it. I'm going to get a different brush. 
that one, I was trying to reuse my brush too many times. <laughs> there we go. So much better. Anyways, I'm going to use this holographic foil here on it. And I hope it's a in my head it's gonna be beautiful so I'm hoping it works out exactly the way I want it to so I'm just gonna apply the glue to the green paint areas try to stay off the black liner and away from the gold also Just do your best to go around those places and I like to dome my glue and I've had some questions about what I mean when I say that so doming is exactly the word dome is like a bubble on top of something so like this isn't a perfect dome but like this cup is domed okay so it makes a dome on top of something now that's a, a big dome so what I'm talking about is like, see this bubble here? That's also a dome. So when I use my glue here, it's domed a bit. And I don't know if I can show you without it spilling, but no, you won't be able to see it. Anyways, it comes up off of the top, but it doesn't spill out of its area. So it's domed and contained and, and, and it's taller. So it gives it a 3D look once it's cured. Um, they use that uh, verbiage a lot with resin. Doming resin is what you're looking for when you're working with um, art projects usually. So, okay, I'm going to keep adding this to the green paint and I'll be right back with you when it's cured and ready for the foil. Okay, this is almost done. This is what I'm going to be using. I love this little, it looks like a four leaf clover there. And I want to apologize for the dogs barking. There are hundreds of dogs in my neighborhood and they go absolutely bonkers when any sirens go through the neighborhood. And we have a lot of policemen and firemen and people here that drive vehicles with sirens and every time someone has a birthday party since COVID started they go around the neighborhood it kind of like a parade which I think is amazing I live in a wonderful neighborhood but um the dogs won't shut up for hours afterwards so we are still basking in a birthday parade <laughs> anyways that's ready sorry so I'm gonna try to center this clover here. I'm going to do it this way and then I'll go back and hit that other area. Isn't that such a pretty gold? I really hope that pin, you know, when I was using it earlier, it sort of spilled out on the rock. I hope that's not indicative of the way it's going to be because I do love it. It was easy to use. The paint flowed nicely, so hopefully that's not going to be an ongoing issue. I will definitely keep you posted about that. All right, this little section here, I'm going to try to use this part. And this section here. All right, I'm going to turn it sideways and show you doming. Can you see it there? It's like a puffy sticker. And it gives it that nice 3D puffy effect. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh, I love holograph, hologram, holograph, holographic, whatever. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm putting... Dun, dun, dun. Which one? Probably that one next to it or... I'll probably do that one, then green put now. I guess I'll do green plaid next. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue here in this clover. And I'll be back when the glue is cured and I'm ready to apply the foil. Okay. I have 
connected two foils so I could see the pattern. I lined it up. I can show you how to do that here. Let me find the top of the foil. Okay, with this foil also, let me grab the box. Hold on. Okay, on these designer foils, you will see that they have these borders on them. If you can see right at the edge, there's a clear border on both sides. When you're using this foil and you have to line up a pattern, you need to cut off the clear borders because they actually are part of the foil and they will leave a clear line that won't cover. So what I mean is when I put these together, had this had the clear border still on it, it would have this clear stripe down it, not connect seamlessly okay so what you do is you take your two foils and then you put them together where the patterns make sense and it's okay if they overlap because the foil will still make a a nice seam with the patterns together so i put it together the way it made sense and i actually forgot a section so he <laughs> he oh well Anyways, we'll do this part and then I will get the glue going again for the other part. But it was just shy of making one foil. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a Q-tip. I broke my silicone tip tool in case you're wondering <laughs> why I quit using it. I have another one somewhere and they're identical. I just got to find it. This is a full opaque foil, so it's real important that you get it. Oh, there's something under my tape. Um, rubbed, you know, adhered the edges really, really well. And then when you lift it off, lift it off very slow. So you can see. Oops. <laughs> come off. Please come off. Oh, it's darn it. Hang on just a second. There we go. That's why you want to lift off slow. See here where it's not sticking right there in the edge, right there in the corner. So you go back there, grab something soft but pointy. And rub hard, see if you can get it to release. I don't know why it's not working. Huh. We got a nice transfer going on over here. Good. Oh. We got a, another edgy, edgy problem over here. Maybe I didn't hit it with the glue very well. I'm not using the pointy end. I'm using the the ball side, the hard end. I don't know why that's not sticking right there. So, temperamental foil. Yes, foil can be temperamental. Who would have thought, right? Pretty good transfer. Just right here. It didn't uh, work out. That's okay. You can hit that with a little paint or your black liner, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Pigma by Secura, the FB, and reline here and just bring it out just a little bit further to cover up the uh-oh. See, there's always an answer for everything. Good. Oh, 
like so. Now I'm going to have to go back and do this little part right there that I missed with the glue. Anyways, we'll reline these areas to here, just right around the edges. Just to touch it up, make sure it's all enclosed. This is already looking so wonderful, isn't it fun? Oh my goodness. Oh look, and it stuck where it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Let me show you, on a Santorini, very cool. They're kind of a soft stone. You can take something pointy and just scratch it off. Same goes for paint or pencil or something. If you can't get it off, you can use newspaper or something pointy. See, it just comes right off. Say there was a big rust stain right here, you could scratch it off. Let's see. Well, that's probably deep in there, but... You see how it scratches off? Pretty cool, huh? All right, I am going to apply the glue here and I'll be right back with you. Okay, yay, leopard print. Oh, let me see, is that cured? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this section first. Oops. I bet you love it when I say that. Oops. You know I made a boo-boo. definitely want to get a good transfer with our leopard print don't rip it all off fast and at once you want to make sure that it's laying down properly sometimes it misses little dots you can take a dotting tool with a ball and gently gentle and poke those spots back into the rock where they're not sticking does that make sense let me pick up the rock and show you Okay, so when you pull it up here, sometimes you can see little dots left on the, the plastic. Those you want to put them back down right where they were and touch the top of the plastic and make sure that they sit back down so you get a good transfer. See, here's a big one. See this piece right here? Okay, that we're going to lay it back down in there. A little moody piece of foil, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not thrilled about this foil. Sort of was not. Hang on. Okay, see this part right here? So it pulled off part of the print, which is not not great. See here? So it left part of the print, which I can't make it stick back down. Now you can either refoil that section or do what I just did and take a new section and press it as long as it's not a pattern like this. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We shall see here. Yeah. It is what it is. Okay, so that is our transfer for the leopard print and I'm also going to do the same thing again with the pen reline the areas 
where the transfer didn't take 100% around the edges there. See that? Just going to give it a nice black line. Give it that nice finished look. These pens have been really amazing so far. This is a, an archival ink also, so it's color fast. Though it fades on our rock a bit, it dims down, it doesn't stay so, so black. It um, isn't supposed to fade over time. Now I don't know because I haven't tested it over time, but I've heard good things about it. And is it, a, it is a brush tip, so it will lay down when you press on it. So if you want a very fine line, you got to hold it straight up and down and don't apply too much pressure. I love it. It does make writing, hand lettering, a breeze. And it comes in three sizes. The big, big one's really neat for large hand lettering. Like if we were doing this, these letters. Um, just on a piece of paper. It would make it really, make it really simple. Let's see. I know you guys just love to <laughs> love pens, yeah? Okay, this is the really big fat one. So we've got, you press down hard for the thicker part, and then lift up on the pressure, and then down hard again, lift up, around, down hard. Lift up. I'm not quite used to these yet, but you kind of get the gist of it. It does a lot of the work for you in hand lettering. My shaky lettering. That's the big one. I like this little one. Like that so it does make it like flow smoother anyways and they come right back to their point so can you see how they smush down and then they come right back to a point and they're really juicy so this is two sets of pins that I've done in the last couple of days that I just absolutely adore these and the um, sharpie stained those were surprising Beautiful pens. All right, back to business. Sorry. <laughs> so, see I have black stuff on the rock. Don't worry, you can take that off with a piece of sandpaper and it'll just come right off. Or you can take your acetone to it. Okay, I'm going to glue this one and I'll be right back with you for the foil. Okay, last little floral foil here. It's so cool. And 
same thing, stick it on. And what I do, I just good okay and some touch-ups here there Like so. All right, I think we're good. Alright guys, what do you think? Lucky? Are you feeling lucky? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Let me show you. You can just take some sandpaper and in places where you may have transferred some ink, see my black spot here? Stand these off. And you have a like new. And then if you can't sand it off, you can take your scratchy tool, whatever you find that's scratchy enough to clean that up for you. And then I recommend letting all your ink dry and then brushing off your rock. Got a little bit of damage there. I don't know what I did. I scraped it with something. Let me see if I can. No. Okay, so you could foil over it or you could find a pen with ink, similar color, maybe some paint. I might just try to paint in there and see if it'll cover it. I'm having a time with my foils today, eh? Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Just to mute it just a bit. No luck of the Irish here, yeah? <laughs> well, I think it's a beautiful foil. You see the, all the holographic? Anyways, if you liked what you saw here today, hit like and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. I have a couple of channel partners, uh, Katie and Margie, who love to upload um, nice tutorials and beautiful rock art as well. So keep your eyes peeled for some of their new stuff and we'll be seeing you again real soon.